Good morning. Eastbound and down. There was a song, it was a country song, I think. I said that, and then there was that TV show. Uh, that's where I'm at. If you're just tuning in, <clears throat> you're tuning in to W Ohio. The segment is called Unusual Traffic. I'm your host, Jimmy Ohio. And today we're uh, going down uh, I-94 East. Maybe it's just 94 East. I don't really know what the difference is. Traveling in a uh, Buick LeSabre 1998. Cruising altitude is, uh, the altitude would be, I don't know, like a foot, foot and a half from the wheelbase to the, uh, the vehicle. Unless you're counting the wheels as part of the vehicle. Then the altitude is zero. Speed is 72. 72 miles per hour, not kilometers. I don't have a thing to show what the weather is outside, but I'm guessing 40, high 40s, something like that. I was listening to that song Rock on Jimmy Dean And then the guy comes on James Dean <laughs> I wonder why they did that I get that one confused with Billy Jean is not my girl Billy Jean. Heading to downtown Detroit. Traveling east to downtown. East to southwest. Gotta do a thing for a thing. A group stuff. I already ate my donut, custard filled, chocolate on top, eclair. Is that an eclair? Custard filled long john? <laughs> I don't know. Now the, the traffic. It's not backed up, but they're just not going fast enough for me. I gotta get to where I'm going. Get to where I'm getting to. So I, uh, <clears throat> I mentioned, uh, Friday. Friday when I was doing that thing. Uh, that I uh, refreshed my undergarments brand new undergarments for spring and then I was talking to my wife about how I should uh, refresh my pants, t-shirts and sweaters and she, uh, she reminded me that this sweater I'm wearing right now is a decade old 10 years <laughs> Uh, I like it though. Got it at the Esprit store in New York. I don't even know if they have Esprit anymore. I didn't know they had it 10 years ago. But uh, it's got a hole right here in the uh, left armpit. I, my wife darned it once, but uh, came back. As long as I don't lift my left arm today, I think I'll be fine. 
But it's quality, you know? Quality over quantity. Sweater that can last uh, 10 years, that's pretty good. I don't remember it being that expensive. It's probably on sale, too, because I buy stuff on sale. You know, like, uh, in the spring, you buy something for the next winter. <laughs> My mom does that with Christmas ornaments. Oh, you get the best deals right after Christmas. Yep. Wanna make a living? James D. I wonder if they did that because people didn't catch on to who Jimmy Dean was. <laughs> they were thinking the sausages. So they're like, no, we better we better go ahead and put in James Dean. As not to confuse anyone. I was watching uh one of those Tom Hanks movies, the the ones where he's always finding treasures and stuff like that. National Treasure. That was his first one. National Treasure. And then the second one. I don't remember. The third one I just watched called Inferno. Now I can't think of a Tom Hanks movie that wasn't a blockbuster. There must have been one somewhere in there. I mean I can think of ones I don't like. I don't like Forrest Gump. I don't like the one where he's trapped on an island with a ball. But I don't know. He was in Splash, wasn't he? I like Splash. Um, maybe he wasn't in Splash. I don't know. Still liked it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm blanking out. Man with One Red Shoe. That's a good one. Going way back. Oh my god, can't remember it. The one where he turns into a little kid. No, the little kid turns into an adult. Big, just called Big. Big, I like that one. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. I guess I wanted to be big, get a job playing with toys. It's every kid's dream. So my wife and I have, uh, we've been married, next year it's going to be 20 years. 20 years next year. And you know, we kind of have a, a fun little story about how we met. But, how many times have I told that stupid story? You know, like, I don't know, 100 times maybe? 200 times? 200 times, that's only, uh but ten times a year. So I'm sure I told it more than that. No, I don't know. How often did you tell those romantic stories? Maybe maybe only like four times a year. And you try to keep it short because people just ask to be nice. So you, we got it down, you know? You got it down to like uh, five sentences... And if people are interested after that, then you can expound on it a little bit. But, you know, it's just a common thing. People are like, oh, how did you guys meet? Well, uh, I was talking to some people not too long ago. Well, ramble, 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 ramble. Still never got to the point of what I asked them, as far as I know. So, alright, got the story, we met, been together a long time, you know, we've been together before we got married, of course, uh, it was not an arranged marriage, although I wonder if those are too bad, you know, I know, uh, well, I know one couple, they're older than I am, they're, they're good, like, 30 years older than I am, they're, uh, they're Indian. I don't know where they... What 
part of India they came from, but they were arranged. Uh, I think they're both doctors, something like that, smart people. They seem to be fine with it, all works out. There was another couple, uh, oh, they're much older than I am, but they're, uh, Greek or something? They, they were arranged. I'm not completely against arranged marriages myself. Although I believe there's a lot of infidelity. I got something popping up here. So, I mean, I guess you cheat because, you know, what's the difference if you got arranged? But, hmm, that'd be an interesting story. So, <clears throat> we've decided that we're not going to tell the story that blah, blah, blah. And then I met him and he was on a, you know, she was on a date and I walked in and asked her out. And, I mean, it's true and it's humorous, but God, do I need to hear it again? No. So, uh, the idea... <clears throat> the idea is to uh, pick a romantic comedy and just, uh, just say the synopsis of the romantic comedy. So, hey, hey, Jimmy, uh, you know, how'd you guys meet? <laughs> well, <clears throat> she was a prostitute and I was a very rich man and I needed, a, you know, a mate for an event. And then I started bringing her to my polo matches. And even though she was out of her league, she uh, moved up in the social ranks and uh, fell in love, you know? Fell in love, I stopped paying her, and uh, we got married. That's pretty women. Pretty woman, pretty woman. Uh, my favorite is, uh... <laughs> so, so Jimmy, how'd you guys meet each other? How'd you get married? Uh, well, we were on a road trip. Uh, you know, a friend of ours, uh, I was dating her friend and then her and I, we, uh, we got in a car to the little carpool all the way to New York. And on the way, we kind of got along, but we fought, you know, and, and then, uh, you know, we were at a restaurant, and I said something about orgasms, and she did something. And uh, we, we split apart, you know. And then years after, we reconnected at a bookstore. We started talking on the phone to each other while watching the same movie. And eventually, we got married. That was uh, when Harry met Sally. But you you can understand. There's, there's plenty of... Uh, Plenty of good synopsis that are just ripe, ripe for retelling a, uh, a marriage story. Much more interesting. Hmm. Low battery. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to plug this in. I'm gonna drive with my knees. Let's see if I can. There we go. All plugged in. Take time off for bad behavior. Motor City. Switched it around. Take time off for bad behavior. You seen those, uh, I don't even really know what they're for. Maybe a phone or a credit card or something, a commercial where this guy's crying in the shower. It's horrifying. It's really terrible. I guess he's upset about his credit card bill or something. Awful. Boo doo doo boo doo boo. Henry Ford. Innovation Nation. 
I worked on some of that, some of the design work. I don't think I did a very good job, but I worked on it. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -boop. Well, you know, we don't have traffic here, so I don't have anything to talk about. Hmm. Vanity plate watch. Not seen any see vanity plates either. Nope. Nothing to see here. Move on. Oh, we got the bridges coming. Uh, if you're from the Detroit metro area or Detroit City, you would know that these uh, bridges were uh, built for the Super Bowl. And if you pay close attention, the uh, kind of ovals there, they are uh, representative of footballs. This is coming from the airport to downtown uh, Detroit where the stadium was, Ford Field. For some reason my kids think it has something to do with a, uh, a whale. I don't know why. Maybe because it's that blue. It's the color of the, the team, the Lions. Also the color of Ford. So there's a good tie in there. Oh, okay. So Ford, the company Ford cars. I guess they uh, ran out of room or something. So they, uh, there's a, a like a real, real crappy mall that's like right near the, the headquarters. And uh, it's like one of these malls that's been failing forever, you know? Uh, they had a Lord and Taylor's that was closed for like six years, something like that. So uh, Ford Motor Company rented the, the Lord and Taylor's to make uh, office spaces for uh, Ford headquarters. Oh shit. Cop. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yep, no problem there. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's, that's putting your American, American dollars to work there. Written out of space in the mall. Fairlane Mall. Now this mall has a, uh, uh, what was it called? like fancy grills or something. It was a dentist thing that, you know, put like gold grills, like uh, rapper, rapper hip hop teeth on you. And uh, the mall's also been shut down, uh, like closed down for like, I think three years running maybe because there was a shooting or something like that. <laughs> But Ford and Alt's Wisdom decided to rent out one of the empty stores. <laughs> I remember, uh, I didn't work at the mall, but I was doing some work for Ford, the uh, design work. And, uh, I took the bus from my mechanic in Detroit, my auto mechanic, to the mall uh, to get to work because Detroit taxis this is way before uh, you know Uber and all that Detroit taxis are just as scary as anything else in Detroit so I took the bus and it was a rough and tumble bus got some shit I remember I was living in uh, Chicago in a Puerto Rican neighborhood, and uh, oh, it was it was black and Hispanic. I'm not sure everyone was really from Puerto Rico though, but uh, I was one of the few white faces in the neighborhood, and it was affordable, which is why I was there. Uh, so I'm taking the bus from this neighborhood down to where I was going to college in downtown Chicago. And uh, it was a little ways out there. I couldn't take the, uh, the train and the L because I didn't live near an L stop, which is also why it was cheap. So I'm waiting for the bus. <laughs> and this, this uh, 
black kid. He was like trying to be tough. He walks up to me and he's, where are you going, honky? <laughs> I think that's the only time I've been called honky to my face. I go, uh, I'm going downtown. Where are you going? <laughs> and that was the whole conversation. He didn't say anything after that. Honky. I think I was on a bus once in, maybe it was New York, and uh, a black lady called a, a white guy a pinky, which I thought was great. Because, uh, you know, white people aren't really white, kind of pinkish. Pinky. That's a little more of a slam for some reason. It sounds a little more derogatory. Oh, hey, oh, whoa. Alright, no harm, no foul on that one. Pinky. Call Sam. Sam Bernstein. He's got his whole family there. One of the kids looks kind of goofy. I'm your lawyer, I think. I don't know. I'm scared. Ambulance chasers. There's a lot of slip and fall lawyers around here. I guess that's a way to make good money. To fall. Or slip. Or get hit by a car. Which could happen to anybody. Crash investigation site. Hmm. Bump a bum. Who are you? Who, who are you? <sighs> Online auction center. Bid. Bitter G. It's like bid. Smashed together with energy, I think. Bitter G. What's, what's wrong? I know trucks are supposed to drive a little slower, but this guy is in no hurry whatsoever. Yalt. Delicious probiotic drinks. I like how everything's like probiotic, probiotic or uh, gluten-free or whatever, when they've always been that. Like, yogurt has always been probiotic. And, uh, I don't know, like your, uh, <laughs> Your Reese's cup is now gluten free. Something like that. I think it's always been gluten free. But those are funny to me. For lease. Uh, that's just the sign is for lease. Huh. Lisa's sign. We were gonna do that once uh, I was in a band early 2000s and we were gonna I don't know make a sign rent one of those big billboards for like a show that you know we were expecting a hundred people to come to but we were gonna make it like a big big deal never did it but it's a funny idea liver noise avenue this is where I'm going I used to live right near here and somebody had an E. It's Livernoy or Livernois. And someone put an E. It was on their trash can like they wrote it. Liver noise. It's like gurgling you get right down there after you have an alcohol problem. Speed limit 55. No one drives 55. I can't drive 55. I always thought that song was about the guy who couldn't drive 55. Like his car wouldn't wasn't wasn't fast enough. And I don't think that's what it's about. Because I had a car that wasn't fast enough. You couldn't drive it on the highway, it would start to shake. <laughs> You couldn't merge. You just, I couldn't drive 55. I can't drive 55. 
All right, stoplight. That's uh, that's our signal to log off. Sorry, this wasn't too uh, too exciting. I wasn't too excited. Okay, tacos, tortillas, and burritos. You know what? This uh, this gas station right here, uh, Edsel, no, uh, Livernoy, and the Edsel Ford exit. 94 that gas station has good Mexican food La Fogata I don't know something it's good though yep 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 yep, yep. all right uh, thanks for calling I'll talk to you later as always I love you goodbye